Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am finally here to do my SAS haul, which has turned into multiple hauls because I have not been able to film. I got the flu over Christmas weekend and Monday morning I woke up feeling horrendous. Um, I still had to go to work. Um, I didn't really have an option. Uh, so I would go to work, I'd come home and sleep and I was taking medications just to try to like get my nose to clear up and like stop my headache and body aches. And it was really, really awful. And every time I would think, okay, I'm gonna like come home and film this day, I'd get home and I just hurt everywhere. Um, so I would lay in bed and finally I'm feeling better. Um, and I can finally film these videos. I did go to Bath and Body Works after work, um, but it was so hard for me to convince myself. There's some days I skipped out. There's some days I went to like both of my stores, but I was just not feeling it. I did buy stuff and I didn't want to let this sickness like completely ruin SAS for me. Um, and I wanted to kind of like give my opinions on how SAS is going so far and yeah, I can finally show you guys my haul. So Merry Christmas to all you guys, even though it's over. Um, and Happy New Year, which is this weekend. Um, my birthday is on Monday the 2nd. Um, I am working all week, but we are going away for the weekend after. Um, it's kind of hard to do stuff on this weekend because of the holidays. So we'll push it till next weekend and me and my husband are going to go have a little weekend getaway. So that will be really nice. Um, I kind of tried to think about how I was going to do this video, but I think I'm just going to include my Christmas gifts in this video. So if you don't want to see my Christmas gifts, you can go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Um, but a majority of my gifts are Bath and Body Works. So I just figured it was pretty fitting to go ahead and show you guys along with my SAS video since I've been literally gone forever. So I will start with this. This is actually a birthday gift in a Christmas bag. Um, I received this yesterday from my friend Elena and of course it's Bath and Body Works. So she actually, she's the one that goes to the Gettysburg outlet for me. Um, her family takes vacations there. So um, I go too, but she sometimes goes with her family and then she picks me up stuff. And she had told me she got me some things from summer SAS or just like sometime at the outlet and she was saving them for my birthday. So first thing is a watermelon lemonade shower gel. I don't have watermelon lemonade in any form. I don't believe I might have one candle, um, but she has this like amazing gifting ability to always get me stuff that I don't own. So here's this, then a um, perfume spray and fresh getaway. So I will love to put this in my car or my purse. A single wick in rain kissed petals. I've never even heard of this scent. Um, and there's no fragrance. Oh wait, yes there is. Rain kissed rose, soft cedar wood, suede musk. I need to like look up if there's like a three wick candle of this to see what the packaging is. Cause I don't remember this like ever coming out, but that was pretty cool. And then a three wick candle in cranberry pear bellini. I swore I had one of these. I don't know if I still do. I didn't look through my collection, but I don't think I do. And I now have one. I don't think I have this. I love this scent. This is so good. And, um, sorry, I'm getting text messages. Um, I'm super happy to have this and I love this packaging. Like this little drink collection was amazing. And then lastly, she got me a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. So thank you so much, Elena. So I'll put that stuff back in here. Um, speaking of gift cards, I will just go over a couple more gift cards here that I received. Um, I got a lot of Bath and Body Works. Um, I know I, I already spent a $25 one that I got from... Um, I don't remember. Sorry, I'll have to think about it. Somebody got me a $25 gift card. My dad got me another $25 gift card, a Bed Bath & Beyond $25 gift card, and a Starbucks gift card. So that was from my dad. Then Jared's mom, no, Jared's sister got us, oh, that, yes. 
the Bath and Body Works gift card was from Jared's sister, my sister-in-law. So she gave me a $25 gift card to Bath and Body Works and a Starbucks gift card, and then gave Jared a Lululemon, which is so funny. He actually loves their shorts, but it's just funny to give him the Lululemon because he's like a country boy, but he loves their shorts. So Jared got a Lululemon and a Starbucks gift card. And then I have another Starbucks gift card. And then of course the one that Elena just gave me. So I'm gonna try to keep these together. Uh, my adorable niece, nieces and nephew got me this Best Aunt Ever mug, which I just think is so cute. I freaking love it. Uh, my mom got me these two like wall like signs. Um, this one's so cute. It says Shih Tzu Bath Soap and Company wash your paws and it looks literally just like brew it's really cute and then this was actually from i saw this it's um from like one of those little like fall festivals and they have all the little stands set up it is a like wood crafted uh, shih tzu um so i think it's so cool and i remember like taking a picture of this and sending it to jared whenever i saw it i have no idea where i'm going to hang this it's like just wood I have no idea where I'm going to hang this, but I do think it's really cool. Um, so there's that. Um, I also got a digital luggage scale from my mom. Um, my aunt got me this um, amber jug that says Paige and Jared Sollenberger, and then it has our wedding date on it. Um, my one friend, um, I think she crocheted these two um, washcloths. Um, my nephew got me this uh, Christmas ornament, which... I love because I know Brew loves bells. Um, my friend is also a Scentsy consultant, so she got gifted me the clothesline. I'm intrigued to see how this does in my car. Uh, my friend Cinda um, gifted all of our friend groups like this cute little um, jewelry company. Um, I've never heard of it. It's called Brian Anthony's, but mine was the nurse one, and she like specifically picked them out for all of us. So you can like read about what the necklace means or like the gifting aspect of it and like what that person who gifted it to you like thought of it's so cute i loved the idea and i'm so excited to wear that okay now getting on i'm gonna move my sas stuff here so i never did end up posting my um gifting video and i probably still will because i I, I filmed a gifting video and then a Bath and Body Works like SAS video, like wishlist video. The wishlist video didn't turn out how I wanted and then Christmas kind of just got away from me. So I didn't post the other one, um, but I gifted them all. Actually, I have one here. I have one left over. I gifted everybody that I work with like these little bags and then my managers. I gifted them like a three wick candle and some other things. So like a bigger gift set. My coworkers went all out, especially my one that loves Bath and Body Works. Like... I can't even believe her. She, this, there's a huge bag here. I just have everybody else's gift in it, but this whole bag was from her. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really feel awful that I didn't get her more, but like, holy heck, I was just not expecting this at all. So, okay, let's start with, like, I don't even know where to start. Okay, my one coworker gifted me this little bag. Sorry, it's all like messed up. But in here we have a Winterberry Iced Hand Soap. Um, a Vanilla Coconut Bar Soap. A Pocket Back in Strawberry Snowflakes and a Hand Cream in Strawberry Pound Cake. And I don't have this packaging of that one. So that was for my one coworker. Um, another co-worker gifted me this little like cookie mix which jared was super excited about and i knew he would be um jeez this is like a mess okay um my cnas gifted me this is just one of the many things they gifted me um a strawberry snowflakes fine fragrance mist which i was so excited for um a couple of my other co-workers got like shower gels and stuff and i was like i'm just so glad that i got a mist i mean anything would have been awesome but like i love the mist um i got this frozen lake um hand soap here is another Starbucks gift card. Here is a pocket back in Frosted Coconut Snowball. 
Okay, from the one co-worker that went all out that also loves Bath & Body Works. Oh, this Duncan gift card, it's just a $5 gift card. Um, my workplace, like, had this whole, like, minute to win it Christmas edition, um, like, little thing, and we, like, did it for the residents, but, like, the co- like, the workers did it, like, they competed, and everybody, like, loved it, and my team actually won, like, my unit won, and I was so excited, so we got, like, a big, like, lunch box, um, it's a really, it's, like, the nicest lunch box ever, um, that has, like, our, the company name on it, so, like, I didn't want to, like, show that but it was filled with like a bunch of snacks and like little goodies and there was a Duncan gift card in it so i'm gonna keep that there um my co-workers that gifted me this i also got like a little badge um thing that has says rn and it's like pink and glittery and it like goes underneath your actual badge that like has your picture on it um and it's just really cute i've always wanted one so that came with that um and i think there's some more things in here but my co-worker who gifted me all the crap she's the one that loves berry waffle cone and here she goes gifting me berry waffle cone i'm like why would you gift me the one that you love because this doesn't come out all the time it could never come back you never know like i was like don't waste it on me but i felt like super flattered i'm like because i love this i absolutely absolutely love this and that's one of the things we like bond over but i did not expect her to gift it to me unless she literally has like an insane amount because she just loves it that much um along with the shower gel oh my gosh she's just too much and then the cotton candy clouds fine fragrance mist which i also don't have so that's awesome and then a single wick candle in sugared snickerdoodle because all of my like all of us girl co-workers my, like my managers we always talk about this candle because lisa loves it and i've actually never owned it or burned it before so like it's just a classic iconic scent and i do love it i just have never bought it so she gifted that and then the, i'm just gonna show you the big thing because i just i still can't believe this like i can't i really really can't the blanket i wanted this blanket so freaking bad like i can't even explain to you guys i i I wanted it and I literally went to the store. I think I already told you guys this, but I went to the store with Jared and I picked up enough things to like get the blanket, like spend 35 and get this for 30, yada, yada. And then I just like looked at Jared and I'm like, I really don't want this body care. Like SAS is coming up. I have so much stuff already. Like I really don't want it. I just want the blanket, but it's like outrageous price. Well, then it went down to like $20 online and I was like, okay, I'll get it. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll wait for SAS. And I actually don't even know if it's still online. I might have totally missed out on it. But for her to gift it to me, and like not only did she gift it to me, she gifted it to my other two female managers. Like I just, I really, really, I just love her. She is the sweetest. I love her. <laughs> I just still can't get over it. It's such an amazing, amazing gift that it literally meant so much to me. Okay, all the rest of the stuff in here. She also got me some little chocolates, which is super nice. I like never buy chocolates for myself. Um, some aloe infused socks. Need socks. Um, I did lose on this. Oh wait, no, I did it. There's a winning lottery ticket in here, two bucks. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, there's a card, another card. Okay, we're at the end here like miscellaneous stuff. Jeez. Okay, okay. So I got this little uh, pill pen and it's like a pen whenever you open it up. I just think it's so funny, I love it. Um, and then this was the other thing from, like that went with like this glitter thing. It's like a red heart with a stethoscope on it. Um, this was from one of my friends, but it's a little ornament with Latte's picture in it. I think that's so funny. And then my one LPN that I work with, I I love her. I love her with my entire soul. She is the best. I literally work with the best people ever. I love them. She gifted me this card. A $40 Bath and Body Works gift card. Like, I just was not expecting that at all. Oh, wait, this is a $4 winner. Dang. But yeah, so another Bath and Body Works gift card. I just thank you. Love you. Um, 
But also my boss, I think my one boss has like more gifts for us, but she kind of hasn't like been there. So that's like, we're having a meeting and I think it's supposed to be like a Christmas meeting. I don't know. But my other boss gave us all $75 e-gift cards to Bath and Body Works. So I have a $75 one in my email. I've used a little bit of it, but not very much. So yeah, that was everything from like my coworkers and stuff. Like I just can't thank them enough. That was just literally insane. So yeah, 15 minutes in, we have to, let me take a drink of my coffee. We have to get into my SAS haul. Okay, Let, let's do this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of SAS in front of me. So let's just, I don't know, where do we start? Okay, let's start with like day one. Yeah, we're going to do that. Day one, first store. Okay, so these are some shower gels for Jared. So this Sage Bergamot line and the suede and sandalwood, I guess this was like a test scent that failed test. Um, so now that I can finally like smell again, I can actually smell what they smell like. That smells pretty good. Sage and Bergamot. Um, he did smell these and he liked them. And I asked him if he wanted me to get them like more to stock up and he said no. So... We just went with one each. I like them both, honestly. Um, and then, of course, like, this wasn't even an option for him. But After Dark, two After Dark. And I believe these two were $3.95. And these two were 75% off. Um, after Dark just smells amazing in all forms. I have this in the candle. I absolutely love it. Love it with my whole heart. Okay. Brew, where are you? I never know where that dog is at. Okay. This was on the $3.95 table, and I like didn't know if it was actually on sale. And I think it actually rang up full price, but the coworker was or like the worker. Coworker. The worker about the body works was like, there was only one of those left, and it was like on that table. And I was like, Yeah, like I was so excited I had to grab it. And then it rang up full price, and she's like, Oh, and she like changed it in the system. Thank you. Did I need this? Absolutely not. I mean, maybe. This is so cute. It's so big. This was originally $14.95. I paid four bucks for this. It is like neoprene kind of, um, a little like a makeup travel bag. I was not missing out on this for four bucks. No way, no way. So I got that. Bro. Let me go find my doll real quick. <laughs> Bro. Okay. I swear. If a video that I can't like interrupt with my freaking dogs. Okay, moving on. So we will go to this bag. This is still from the first day. All right. I found Autumn Drive. I really, really wanted this, but it was like pretty much sold out in my stores and I didn't want it enough to have used like a reward on it or anything. I was kind of just waiting it out. And it was like, if I didn't get it, I would be completely okay with that. So I found it in the shower gel and then the body lotion. And then I found another shower gel with matching body lotion. So it is like so strong and kind of like cranberry smelling. So I really, really like it. Um, I did pick up two more cinnamon donut swirls. I got these at Summer SAS when they were on sale. These were 75% off as well as the Autumn Drive. And I definitely had to get more of these. Everybody says there's like a fruity scent when you use it like in the shower. It kind of just smelled like buttered popcorn right there for a second. Um, but it's such a good scent. I really, really don't mind having multiples of these because I'm like, I have two sets that have the lotion. And then I think these are like number two and number three of, I think I have one more that doesn't have a set. Um, moving on, 
I picked up the set in Summer Melody. I told you guys, well, when I filmed my video that I didn't post, but I've told you guys in the past, like I used up a little set of Summer Melody and I said, if it goes 75% off, I'm getting the full set. This is something that I just never thought that I would like. Honeydew and vanilla just don't sound like they go together. Honeydew isn't something that intrigues me at all by itself. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this this summer and I'm glad I got the body lotion in it and not the um, body cream. All right, I found some strawberry soda actually. I used to hate this scent, but now I love it. Like I think it's so good. So I got one body lotion and I actually got two of the shower gels. Um, I have a full size set of this already. Oh my gosh, it just smells like candy. It just, the way that it smells is so unique to me in my opinion. So I had to get it. And then lastly in this bag, I have two fine fragrance mists. I have one in In The Stars and one in Pure Wonder. Uh, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for, I think it's gonna be my next video to hear about Pure Wonder, but this is actually like the white liquid, like the clear liquid and the white packaging. The other one I have is more of like a pink and they look very different. So I picked this one up. The lid's like super gross though. And I noticed that when I bought it, um, but that's fine. I'll put a different lid on it or clean that one off. But in the stars, I don't know. Every time I see it at 75% off, cause I already have a full set plus an extra one of these. It's this set is just so amazing. Like I, I'm always picking it up when it goes on sale. All right. So I think that was it for the first store as far as body care. Um, I will move on to accessories. I found the clamshell that is the three wet candle holder. I have this for the soap holder and I had when I saw the matching three wet candle holder I had to get it because I haven't seen this um, in a really long time if ever um, so I had to get it because it matched. And then a few, you know, guys know Jared loves candle holders and he really wanted the Halloween bust and I was trying to do everything in my power to convince him not to get that just because it doesn't really fit the vibe and I just, I liked it another one better and we did agree on the other one or maybe I persuaded him to get the other one, but I got the eyeball. I'm really excited about this. I wanted this when it came out, but I was like, I know these are gonna go 75% off. And it's something like so weird, but really, really cool. So yeah, we paid like $17 for this. So, I mean, that's a really good deal. I was not paying full price regardless, but okay. Then next from the first store still, first day of SAS, um, and actually a little story with that, all, both of my stores were supposed to open at 10 a.m. I, I had my friend meet us at the uh, standalone White Barn store. I had her meet us there at nine. Well, Jared and I, we always run late to things. We were running a little bit late and we were in the Dunkin' drive through as she arrived and she was like, she called me and she's like, ha ha ha, there's like these older ladies that are really trying to get in the store. Like they must not know that it's like SAS, like they must not know. So I was like, yeah, like they need to leave or whatever. So we hang up, I'm like, we'll be there as soon as we're done getting coffee. Do you want anything? We show up, we're like, we're headed there, almost there. And she calls me and she's like, they're letting people in the door. I'm like, it's like 9.15 if that, it's like 9.10. And she's like, I don't know, they open the door. I'm like, go inside. <laughs> when we're like almost there. So I don't know why they open doors early, but I feel like I've heard like Sonico the Diva say that they open their doors early too. I don't know, but I checked on the Bath and Body Works website. Like you go to Store Finder, like I didn't trust Google. I went to Store Finder and I looked. I don't know how in the world that happened, but we still made it there in time for me to get candles. So I will go ahead. I have nine three wick candles here that I paid $6 for. They were all 75% off. I just can't tell you how excited I am for these and how lucky I am. Now that I have a white barn, apparently that's what happens. You have the chance to get 75% off candles on the first day of SAS. Like, hello. So the first one here is Vanilla and Santal, I 
was not intrigued with this collection at all but for six dollars i smelled them again and i was like these are kind of good my nose is starting to get stuffy again this is definitely not like a me scent but i think it will smell nice in the house um i'm really intrigued for six dollars like that's the best thing about six dollar candles you try new things you see what you like you see what you don't like this has vanilla woods fresh moss and santal don't really know what any of those notes are gonna smell like except vanilla woods which i like um but yeah so i picked that up then there's more of these in there pink petal tea cake i was one of the lucky people to have pink petal tea cake in my store and there was a lot of them i had this and then i had exchanged it um because i didn't think i loved it i actually have um there's another rose one i don't know i have another rose candle that i love a lot more when i had them like side by side so I actually just returned this one, but smelling it again and for $6, like it's so cute looking, a little pink wax, like I love that. And for $6, like now I can burn both my rose ones. I don't have to like pick one that I like more than the other. So there's that. Then toasted pineapple marshmallow. I was always intrigued with this one, but I never did end up getting it. And I thought it sold out in my store because I could not find it. But nope, I have it for $6 now. So uh, that is those first three. All right, sorry, I have to reach down to grab these. So I have two more pink petal tea cakes. So that's a total of three that I picked up. So. And I didn't even think when it came to grabbing these, I literally was just like, boom, 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 pack them in and like go because there was too many people like crowded around the tables. I was just getting like anxious. Um, I did grab a pink lemonade. This is a candle I don't have. And it does smell like pink lemonade. I just was never really like intrigued with it, but this bright pink wax, like, yeah. I'm super happy I picked that one up. We have three more here. I got Fresh Lemon Waves. I feel like a lot of people were type talking about this one and like kind of hyping it up. Um, I don't remember the reviews, but I think they were good reviews. This is gonna be really, really nice just to have as like a refresh scent. Um, I'm actually burning Paris Cafe, which I know is like a super strong candle, but it is like a refresh scent. If you, It's either like a clean, fresh, um, like a lemon or it's like laundry day and like uh, linen sheets or it's like the coffee scent that kind of just like cleanses the house so fresh lemon waves will definitely be a good one to kind of cleanse the house after burning some other candles i have coconut and vetiver which this is probably the one that i liked the most like before they dropped in price when they were like full price and just came out i kind of like just smell all the collections even though i usually don't have an intention of buying them because i try to save my money for sas but the vetiver is strong but the coconut it's like that nice soft like coconut milk coconut and I love that oh the first note is coconut milk shocker so I am intrigued to see how I feel about this candle burning it um and then lastly laundry day another reset um it was so hard not to pick up like multiple upon multiple of these but honestly I'm running out of room in my candle storage will i buy more yes but that's like the thing too sas is gonna go on for many more weeks here to come i don't want to spend all my money on these candles like these same candles i mean there were some other ones like they had cactus blossom i think they had black cherry merlot and like that seashell packaging but i wasn't paying close enough attention i think i just saw like champagne toast and um cactus blossom and kind of just like didn't pay attention to the collection, but I think Black Cherry Merlot was there and I missed it, which is okay. I do have some of those and those that comes out all the time. Um, 
I'm trying to think like they didn't have um hot fudge drizzle because you guys I would have bought that out I would have bought that out um even though they had like these collections they only had those three that I showed you the pink lemonade um trying to think what else okay anyways we're gonna move on I don't remember what else they had, but I picked up the ones that I wanted and didn't go over budget. So I'm happy. Okay, moving on to still day one, but the mall store. I had things in my basket, then I put them back, then I grabbed more things, and then I ended up buying stuff. I wasn't even going to buy anything, to be quite honest. I was like over it. I was just ready to like go and the first store was just so much better. Like I had such good luck at the first store that the second store was kind of like a bummer to me, but I did end up getting some stuff. I got pink chiffon in the set. Um this I believe is an online exclusive. This packaging like really though, even in the store like it just like caught your eye. This is a fragrance that has been around for a really long time, but I've never had, I don't believe, maybe in like one item, but I've never had this set and I figured what better time to get it than when it's 75% off. So I did get that. I was excited to find this Wicked Vanilla Woods because I have the spray and the body cream, but I did not have the shower gel. So now I have a full set, which you guys know that makes me like so happy. I picked up Sea Island Shore. I need to find the rest of this collection because, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I was like, oh, this is like a long-term, like the scent's been around forever, like it's basic. And then I smelled it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I freaking need this. It's just like such a clean, cottony, like fresh scent. It's so good. So I got the shower gel. I'm sorry, my nose is getting like stuffy. I might be like annoying to hear talk, but I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. I picked up Winter Cherry Blossom. I don't really know why. This is one of the things that I was gonna get when I tried to get the blanket originally. It's not that special, but like, it's kind of cute. I don't know, I might return this one, probably not. Like, it's cute, but I have a feeling this might also go 75% off, so I got it at $3.95. These things were also $3.95, but oh my gosh, I was so excited. I got, oh my goodness, I got three coffee and whiskey body sprays and a body cream. So the goal here is that I'm going to use a body cream and spray for myself because this fragrance is the best thing that's ever occurred. I, I love this. I love this so freaking much. Um, and then Jared liked it and he usually doesn't use the body sprays, but he was like, I'd use them for like that set. And I was like, yeah, I would too. So I got him two. I'm, I can tell you right now, I'm going to probably be using these. I don't think he's going to reach for them and I think I'm going to use them. But when we were in store, like he, he picked up the tester and like sprayed himself and he's like, that just smells so good. And my mom actually met us at the store. Like it wasn't planned, we didn't text about it, but she had said the day before, like she was gonna go. Um, so she ended up showing up like right when we found these. So she got some from my dad too. But like coffee and whiskey, oh, I should have bought more, but I could say that I could sit here and say I could buy more of everything right now, but that was just such a good sign. Okay, then, that was all from that. And then throughout the weeks, I've kind of gone back. So here's another trip that I went. I was so excited to find this. Um, Sweet Whiskey, you guys know, is like one of my all time favorite body cares. Like this is amazing. And I think I already have a fine fragrance mist. So I got a shower gel, another fine fragrance mist and another shower gel. So at least I have a shower gel and fine fragrance mist little set. Um, I couldn't find the lotions, but also like some of those items rang up like $7, like they were 50% off, but then they just went ahead and like changed them for me because they were all in the bins. So I got them. Two more candles. <laughs> so this one is Blue Sky Breeze. I really wanted, um, the, uh, sparkling seltzer cherry seltzer or whatever. I wanted that from like this collection, but they didn't have that. So I did get this one. 
this smelled really good fresh spring morning that's one that is coming to my mind that was also 75 percent off at my store um and this is kind of like fresh spring morning it has morning spring air fresh violet petals and crisp gala apples and irish english ivy so it's kind of like the same but a little bit different and i like this packaging more than i like fresh spring morning plus i already have a fresh spring morning in my collection because i think that was one of the free candles like over the summer for one of the deals and then i picked up rainbow waves i don't really remember what people were saying about this candle but i mean it's super pretty um this has notes of sunny sangria bright melon and misty waters it smells good it's nothing special but it does smell good um i don't have this candle i have red white and blue cake i have the melon one I didn't get the berry one but I saw this and I was like I don't have it I can get it for six bucks um I did take up the melon one it was on my 50% off table and I took it up to get price checked and it still rang for 50% off but once that one goes 75 like we have a whole middle table of like at my store of like mixed like seasons and stuff and like none of them are old old they're all just like from like earlier this year I'm waiting for that table to go 75% off because there's like a lot of good stuff on it so there's that um we'll go into this bag and then we'll have one more after this i picked up this um light up wallflower plug i don't know when this is from but it's like a cute little lantern and it was 75 percent off so i usually try to pick these little cute guys up whenever they're 75 percent off so i went ahead and did that got that it was like just a couple bucks um don't ask me why i got these i mean i kind of have a reason i got two of these old winter candy apple fine fragrance mist they were originally priced at six dollars when they did sell them and they are from 2016 they still smell fine this one has a cap on it this one doesn't i honestly love this packaging of minis better than their new packaging um and i knew these were gonna ring up cheaper as well so i just kind of picked up i paid a dollar fifty for both of them for each one which is still kind of a lot when you think about it because when you use these sprays you go through them a lot quicker because they spray so much more but i don't know they were kind of just like nostalgic and like i just had to get them so i got those i did get one of hand spray i smelled it and i just thought it smelled really good it's pineapple coconut and i did um gift a lot of these for christmas so i wanted to just kind of get one more i found some 75 percent off hand soaps i got lemon poppy seed and a perfect pumpkin for next halloween my throat's getting really dry so sorry guys bear with me um for 3.95 i picked up a wrapped in vanilla because i do have the lotion and spray so i figured i'd grab a shower gel i wasn't really planning on like getting full sets of these or like i really was trying to stay away from 3.95 but honestly if you got 3.95 fragrance mist it was a better deal than 75% off because a 75% off fine fragrance mist like this one that I paid 75% off for it was like four dollars and 12 cents so you're actually like getting a better deal but I did get this shower gel because it would make a full set for me and it was the last one and it's wrapped in vanilla I don't know why but that other one the blush cardigan is like wiped clear people like that one more okay i had talked about this i'm pretty sure in one of my videos but i had said about like some scents that i kind of missed out on from this year and i wanted to like if i could find them for sas or like if i found them i would get them one of them being pastel skies i found one lonely lonely pastel skies at the bottom of one of those bins um this has notes of soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk I'm so happy to have this in my collection like and it's not even really like the mist itself it's more like the packaging and like the fact that I don't have anything from this collection and it just looks literally like stunning it's just stunning I'm so happy I found that and then could not believe that I found this I found an autumn dry fine fragrance mist I literally was like having the best time of my life because now I have a full set of this and i'm telling you this is probably like a rare find because like i don't i don't know how there was any of these left this collection got like eight up when it released everybody loved this and i'm like so freaking happy that i have my own now uh, okay moving on to the last bag we still have good stuff in here 
I, I'm telling you guys, I was finding good stuff at this store. This is my mall store and everything was in the bins and they actually, so like the front had a 75% off bin and then the middle part, which I didn't realize at first. And when I saw it, I like ran back. The 75% off in the middle had all this random crap, like stuff from like those odds and ends that you want to find. Like that's where I found these. That's where I found this and this. Like, come on. I was loving my best life. So moving on with the best life kind of stuff. I did find a uh, room spray. This is iced coconut milk. These are just really hard to find at 75% off. So I picked this up and I will enjoy it. I'll show you these soaps first because they're like the more least exciting. Um, these were on a different table, but it was a 50% off table that they were changing to 75% off. And the um, worker there was like, Hey, like if anybody wants these, I just didn't change the sign yet, but they are 75% off. So I grabbed them. Um, I got two of the strawberry pound cake. I'm not crazy about this packaging, but strawberry pound cake. I got a enchanted kidney potion because a lot of people love this and I didn't get it. I have the black faceted for this Halloween. The, I forget what it is, but it's like a caramel one. Um, I did get that one, but I didn't get the enchanted one. And then ghoul friend. Like I love like the holographicness of this. Um, so I wanted to get these two Halloween soaps for next year. Like they're just so freaking pretty. So I'm glad that I snagged those for like $1.63 or something. Okay, on to these other like odds and ends. And I'm gonna go from like least exciting. I don't know if there is a least exciting, the most exciting. Okay, I got a saltwater breeze. I have saltwater breeze in a fine fragrance mist that my friend Elena gifted to me. So now I'll have a little set of it. So I'm gonna go upstairs and pull that for my one um, little select my section that I have of like random odds and ends I'm gonna put those together for a little set because I don't have that in a full-size set and a lot of people do love this set so now I'll just have like my own little set um I found Sea Island Shore in a fine fragrance mist this was like without a top and sitting up like it was a tester like on top of the stand but I literally grabbed it put a cap that was like loose in the bin and now I just need a lotion, but I'm so happy that I got this. And honestly, like they released this again in new packaging. Um, if I can find a lotion even from that collection, once it goes 75% off, you know I'll be grabbing it because, oh my gosh, it's just so good. It has notes of clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, and clean musk. This is so freaking good. Okay, I found a strawberry soda fine fragrance mist. I did not think I was gonna find this. I've seen people's videos and other stores have had this, but now I have a whole complete set, another set, because I already have one. Now I have two and I'm so excited that I found this. I didn't think I would and there was only one. All right, I found Sunset Glow in a fine fragrance mist. Sonia actually gifted me the fine fragrance mist and body cream but i couldn't say no to this one and i know this is one of the ones like this one in dahlia like they come out and then they don't and then they're like oh they're coming back out for sas and then you can't find them anywhere like i found dahlia body creams and only this singular sunset glow item so i grabbed it if i found any more of this i would get it in any scent this is i i had this before in something um probably like a miss I don't remember I had it and I used it up and I didn't care about it and then I was sad I didn't have it anymore and then Sonia gifted it to me and then I'm like okay I'm gonna hoard this forever but now I have another one so yeah I don't know I just had to get it excuse me I found open sky you guys know I love this I wish it would come back out and I really just slept on it um it's just such a good scent did I need this? No. I don't have anything else in open sky, so I just wanted to get it. So I'm just going to keep this and hold on to it and cherish it. I love it. Um, I don't have anything else in this scent, but I figured if this is the only thing I'm going to find of open sky ever again, I might as well get it. Then lastly, and I, uh, I'll just show you what it is. This is a Blooming Garden. This is from 2020. It has notes of fresh picked poppy, spring waters, and sky blue amber. You know, actually what I'm thinking of as I'm saying this, this with Sea Island Shore would probably be like a really good set if I can't find a lotion for that. Um, so I actually gifted a 
lotion of this and a fine fragrance mist to my friend, my one friend. And it was because I didn't like it. Um, but yeah. And every once in a while, I think back to when I gifted her that and I didn't realize what I was gifting her because like that that's never come back out. Um, it's like, I mean, to me now it's a rare scent. Like I think this packaging is absolutely beautiful. Like I, I like regret giving it to her. I wish I would have given her something else. Um, but yeah, it was Blooming Garden and it was like a floral and I was not, it, that was like before my nose kind of changed and I kind of like matured and realized that like, I can kind of like multiple different scents. I don't have to like just one category of scent. So I got Blooming Garden in the body cream. It kind of, it doesn't feel used. There was something, I feel like it's like has some air in it, but it's not yellow at all. It's still clear, like still white. Um, the cap looks a little gross, like itself. Um, yeah, that looks a little gross around it, but um there was one body cream of something i wanted there was something i wanted and i looked at it and i like felt it and it was like it was like half full and i'm like okay bath and body works like can we like check our products before we try to like sell them um yeah like i feel like this is like there's like some missing from it maybe i don't know but i mean what do you expect you buy like a freaking almost three-year-old product like but it still smells good. I swear my senses are just like so decreased right now. It still smells good. The packaging's adorable. And yeah, I'll probably use this up somewhat soon. But like, I just think it's so pretty. Okay. That is my haul. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, I just spent so much money at SAS. But like, I get so freaking excited. Like, I think I really found some good, good things this year. Like, and it's not even over. I'm waiting for things to drop. But like, sweet, sweet whiskey. One of my all-time favorites. Love it. Strawberry soda. I will take a backup of that. Of course. For one that I really wanted and didn't think I could find. One that was pretty much sold out. I just, I think I did really, really good. We're going to keep shopping, of course. We're not going to stop anytime soon. Um, I still have gift cards, so I'm okay to shop some more. But I've spent probably $200 so far, which isn't awful. I think we're at about a 200 mark, uh, but yeah. So stay tuned, I'm sure there'll be more videos. Sorry, this one took so long. I really wish I could have gotten it out for you guys sooner, but better late than never. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later, um, hopefully sooner rather than later because I do have an epic empties. So stay tuned guys. Thanks so much. Bye.